there's something so beautiful about having kids explore the forest and explore the farm and have that raw curiosity. And then there's an, an additional layer of joy that comes from them pointing out things that they were afraid of and now having comfort towards it. It's like a whole different world. Once you pass those gates, it's like a whole different thing. I feel like a lot of kids in the city, they don't usually get to have an experience like this out in nature and out in the forest. So they usually have a lot of fun here. Like there's some kids who come here and don't even know what produce is. And they leave with produce bags and learning how to make their own like pasta from gardens. I always ask campers on the first day here to raise their hand if they've never been into a forest before. And I think you would be surprised to see how many hands are raised. And there's a lot of fear around the forest. And then when we go out there and just seeing their eyes light up and when they see a cardinal or seeing their eyes light up when they see a crayfish. It's kind of two different layers of education that we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to teach these elementary school kids more about the forest and the farm and also the camp counselors who are high schoolers are learning about their style of leadership and what kind of educator they want to be. Oftentimes our counselors come to us having really great skills in working with kids, which is what we're looking for, and not a lot of experience with natural settings or farms. They have told me how much they've learned about relationships in nature, about the different crops we're going on the farm and where they come from, about how to prepare different dishes that are using fresh vegetables. Counselors then have the gain of getting to share that knowledge with the campers and becoming mentors and guides. I find it so amazing being with these kids who like look up to you, especially minority children who need another minority to look up to. I found a new found love for kids. They're so curious and they want to know everything. This camp made me curious, so now I want to explore places like this more. I've never done nothing like this before, but I want to come back next year. Come on up, What we provide is really unique, but it shouldn't be. Access to nature, access to learning about your food and where it comes from is not something that should only be in rural areas. We put a high value on equity and diversity. And that means bringing kids in from across the city and from different schools, kids of different racial backgrounds and economic backgrounds. Having access to this is a component of equity. And access doesn't just mean you can physically get there. It also means that you feel confident and comfortable in those spaces. You can really take advantage of everything they have to offer because you've had the opportunity to be guided in helpful and positive ways in those spaces. We recognize that as a staff person who is white, I need to really help make sure that I'm highlighting our counselors who this year was a majority black team and are themselves showing that yes, like nature is for everyone. <laughs> Trying new foods and cooking is for everyone. All of these programs are for everyone. And we tell them up front, this farm is yours. It belongs to you. It belongs to every single Baltimore City School student. It is not my farm. It is yours. <laughs>